Hey guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys another move video. So we are going to be doing seven minute abs. These are 10 of my favorite moves that I've been trying to incorporate daily, especially postpartum. I'm now eight months out and feeling amazing, better than ever. So some of these moves may not be ideal if you are fresh postpartum, but about six months out and you should be okay. So let's get going. We're gonna do 10 moves, like I said. They're gonna be 30 seconds on with a 10 second transition period. So this will be a slight rest, but we're gonna to try to keep things moving along. So you won't need any equipment for this workout. And if you're curious about our workout mat, we will link it below in the description. So let's get right into it. To start out, we're gonna warm up our core while standing and then everything else will be done down on the floor. So we're gonna start reaching across the body, bringing that opposite knee to opposite elbow. Let's go for five, four, three, two, switch sides, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna take it down to the floor and start our seven minutes. We're gonna start out in tabletop, On those toes, we're lifting our knees two to three inches off the floor, and we're going to alternate shoulder taps and knee taps, opposite knees here, opposite shoulders. Pretend as if you've got a glass of wine resting on your back. You wanna keep it as stable and level as possible. Tighten that core. Quick break, we're gonna come out into full plank and do something similar here. Hands to opposite shoulders and then knees to opposite elbows, alternating between the two. Really keep that core tight and engaged here. Quick break, we're gonna jump it through. And we're gonna head right into leg lifts. Bring those feet straight up. Alternating, we're gonna go right, left, together. Keep it up, right, left, together. This is a no judgment zone, I've said it before and I'm saying it again. This is about progress, not perfection. Great job. Come on up and we are going to head straight into heel taps. Making sure that your heels are far enough out that it's a little bit of a challenge to reach all the way. We're working our obliques here Really reaching as far as you can. Slide those heels out just a little bit more. Challenge yourself here. You've got this. Great job. Alrighty, next move is scissors. We're lying flat again. And we're gonna hover those legs, bringing them up and down. The knees can be slightly pointed outwards here. Those, toy, those toes are pointed. Legs are straight and long. This one is seriously killer. Breathe through it. Come on up. Next up, we're gonna head into side plank, starting on our right side. And we're gonna reach that arm through, just like so. If you need extra stability, bring that front leg to rest in front. 
Again, tighten that core. Breathe through each move. Inhale and exhale. Great job. Flip it over. Same thing, other side. Here we go. Making sure not to dip your hips, keeping them up high towards the sky. <laughs> Keep it up. Who's feeling warm? I am. <laughs> Great job. Back on our backs here or seated, actually. All right, we're gonna twist it, left and right, picking up that opposite leg with each twist. Pretend like you're holding a donut here. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> okay, maybe you're holding a dumbbell. How's that? Almost there. Great job. All right, two moves left. We are going to head into straight leg pulses. These are super tiny moves here, but they really, really work into those deep lower abdomen, abdominal muscles. Just slight little booty lifts. Try and keep those legs straight, toes pointed. That core is tight, as if somebody's about to hit you right in your abs. All right, flip it one last time, back to plank. We're gonna drop it down to forearms, bringing it back up to our hands. Again, Really focus on keeping that core tight. I'm guilty of letting it all hang out. I constantly have to remind myself. So every time I remind myself, I'm gonna say it out loud to remind you too. This is it, you guys. This is the last move. Great job. Bring it down into child's pose with those knees wide. and bring it back up. All right, awesome job, you guys. If you liked this abs routine, if you wanna see more like it, maybe something specific to postpartum core and abs workouts, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna follow this with one of our other workouts, we will have those linked below as well. We've got a fantastic 20 minute workout, full body at home, no equipment needed, as well as a recent booty video, which I'm loving. Speaking of core, it's about progress, not perfection, and I'll say it time and time again. So a few quick tips and tricks for you guys if you want to make it look like your core is flatter than it is, especially when you're starting out and or if you're postpartum, because I struggle with it. So for one, wear flattering clothes. So there's a reason why I don't wear my pants like this, because nobody likes this stuff. So instead, Wear something that's high-waisted. It's going to elongate your legs and it's going to give you the illusion of a flatter, more shapely stomach. So another tip would be, instead of trying super hard to suck in, that's just not comfortable. Instead, focus on tightening the core. You can see the difference there. There's a lot of strain. Instead, just focus on tightening your abs like this. Rolling those shoulders back, hips are slightly tucked, but that booty is still firm and strong. And those are my tips for you guys. Hope they help. I'm gonna cool down, grab a drink, grab a banana, and see you guys next time. Until then, eat, move, rest your best. Bye guys. <laughs>